So a few years ago, I wanted to get this one pedal by a company called AMT, who are based in Russia. Here it is. <laughs> this thing has a ton of knobs, uh, but it's a preamp. Uh, it's actually a three-channel preamp, and I bought it on Reverb the other week, and it came in, and it's actually pretty uh, intense. So, rectifier, fine. Diablo, fine. Satan, fine. Marshall JCM 800. This is a 1987 2204. Um, sounds terrible. Terrible if you're trying to uh, have a chug fest and all of your buddies have all of these other amps and you show up with a JCM 800 and no pedal. Wah, wah. Go have fun playing the blues somewhere in the corner, jerk face. But with this AMT, yo, legit, it sounds fucking sick. So let me just plug this thing in. So I have my JCM 800, one channel. Um, with this, I'm actually using this preamp as just a regular pedal. Uh, but you can throw it through the loop and it actually sounds great. Not by itself. You have to actually, you know, because I'm using this along with the JCM through the front, I can actually utilize both EQs. So when you're using this through the loop, you actually have to use some kind of parametric EQ or something along those lines. So I actually ran this through my Randall Diablo with my uh, MXR 10 band EQ and it sounds incredible, absolutely insane through the loop. Uh, but this, I'm just gonna use it through the front now. Using my Kiesel Aries A6C, Ash, matte black, um, with, what is this, a painkiller, which is a, what, bare knuckle pickup, it's a, so that's a, um, a uh, painkiller, and this actually has flame maple fretboard, it's real pretty. This is what the JCM 800, no pedal, straight through. 
Preamp set to 10. No chug fest. around but yeah the jcm 800 i don't care what anyone tells you if they tell you that that is the sickest amp plug it straight through and crank it and you're done dude they don't know what they're talking about um it sounds great but you need a pedal you definitely need something because the preamp on that thing circa 1987 can't hang dude um i know that slayer and anthrax used what uh scotty and used tc electronics booster line driver uh, pedal and what did Slayer use? I know they used the uh, TC Electronic BDL BLD also, uh, but I know they had other pedals too. Didn't one of them use some Marshall pedal? Jeff, I think, may have used a Marshall pedal, and I know Kerry King used a, uh, a TC Electronic booster line driver distortion pedal. Um, I had that pedal, maybe it was great for 1987. Um, you know, I'm sure by South of Heaven, they were just like, yeah, no, we need heavier gear, heavier pedals. Um, but yeah, but the JCM 800 is sick with a pedal. Without a pedal, doo-doo. With a pedal, depending on which one, it sounds awesome. Uh, but check out that AMT. It's the SS80. It is a solid state FET um, three channel preamp, uh, which sounds great. I paid 100 I paid it was 105 with $10 shipping, so I paid $115. Uh, but if you buy it in that ballpark, I mean, you're going to love it, regardless of which, which mountain, which mountain of, of amps you have. Look at this thing. Look. And I still have this guy. Right? This is my Randall RG. And then I still have my small rack in the back behind it. Yeah. It's crazy. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe. Uh, for all you guys that watch and don't hit the subscribe, I'm going to kick you. In... I'm going to hit you in your nose. Hold on. Where's your nose? Right there. Duke. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You guys are the best. And as usual, I will talk to you guys soon.